All right, there we go. There's light. And that's my wife there. I uh, I did a video earlier, and I'll probably upload it because it's important. But I think this will be my video for the day because I just had a conversation with my sister and it, it put some things in perspective for me. Um, today is the nine year anniversary of my father's passing and while my sister and I may deal with it differently, we agree that it's something that needs to be dealt with. And I, she's at some conference or something like 200 miles away from home so she doesn't have the comfort of her boyfriend or her daughter, she's got like no support system out where she is, which sucks. And uh, she typically, she typically takes it harder than I do every year. And I used to wonder why that is, but then it kind of occurred to me that she takes it harder because Trina was always the favorite. You know, Trina was she was closer to him in life than I was but I don't know in the time it took me to formulate that thought it also occurred to me that Trina was not the favorite because I was raised very deliberately again I, I always say I was told to think not what to think I was always taught critical thinking skills I was taught to question everything I was taught to follow my own path while my sister followed the path that life gave her. Now, granted, she might have taken the, the steps that she wanted to take. You know, she picked the school she wanted to go to, but it was still go to school, go to college, get this, do this, do that. And in the end, it just didn't work out for her because I don't think her choices were her own. Her decisions weren't hers. She wasn't doing what in her heart she wanted to do. That being the case, I think that I have. I mean, win, lose, or draw, good or bad, I've, I've always been me. And the only reason that I can say that I am me is because I was given the flexibility to explore whatever it is I wanted to explore. I mean, I dropped out of high school at 17 years old. By the time I was a senior in high school, I barely had freshman credits. Like... But I was given a tremendous amount of leniency to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And sometimes that got me in a world of trouble. But I appreciate that my father gave me that. So today, on this day, while there will always be a hole in my heart shaped like my father it does not do him any justice to sit and mope I don't know how often I bring it up but I'm reminded of something my sister said right after he passed away because none of his affairs were in order there was so much that had to get done and I was irresponsible. I didn't, you know, but she said he was too busy living to worry about dying. And I always thought that was nice. You see, I'm, I got too much to do. You know, my wife gives me credit for making shit go. It's like, you make it go, but I can't make it go if I'm sitting moping around. And that was the mark that... It was my father's signature. No matter how hard it got, he kept pushing. You know, no matter how difficult things were, there was shit that needed to get done. And he got it done. So on today, this day, nine years to the day when my father passed away, I will not do him the disservice of moping around. I will not do him the disservice of disrupting my life because, frankly, I make shit go. 
And if I don't make it go, it won't go. It's not going to do itself. And you know who's responsible for that? This guy. So I'm going to do what I have to do. I will, I will respect his memory. Part of me will miss him. But there's shit that's got to get done. And I won't let that affect my day.